Today we have servers versus personal computers. Isn't a server just a computer? And I really want to have a gaming server, can I just use my desktop? Well, let's find out more. To start, yes, they both are computers with similar fundamental properties like a processor, RAM, and drives for memory storage. However, servers host websites, emails, gaming, and many other databases. They allow clients, which are your everyday computers and phones, to make requests to the server to get certain things like a website, videos, or scary Taco Bell reviews on Yelp. But a desktop or personal computer is your regular good old PC that you claimed you needed for schoolwork but you mostly play games and watch videos on it. Let's not forget that a server is connected to a network like the internet 24 hours 7 days a week which needs a proper internet upload speed and maintenance. While your PC cannot handle high volumes of requests and would be a hot mess if it had to be available 24-7. Plus, your internet service provider would make it a little bit hard on you just to become a server in the first place. Equipment-wise, servers have operating systems and processors that are designed to handle multiple requests with more cores and keep temperatures down. Some server motherboards can even support more than one processor. And unfortunately, your desktop operating system and hardware can't handle that many things going on at the same time. Lastly, let's talk backup. Servers use a system like RAID 5 to prevent data loss, and servers have way more data storage than your average PC. Generally, your PC doesn't have any data loss prevention with the exception of uploading your stuff to an actual server in that magical cloud. In conclusion, yes, servers are computers. Could you turn your PC into a server? Yeah, and it could do some basic things if traffic wasn't too high. But actual servers are specifically designed to do what they do which is to serve us data. So please give thanks to the server gods because they are amazing machines. The world really might come to an end if all their work, YouTube stuff, or their Instagram pictures of the sunset with a cool filter just all suddenly disappeared.